The U.S. House of Representatives on Wednesday passed a bill to raise uh, the nation's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling, defying President Joe Biden by attaching sweeping spending cuts for the next decade. The vote was a win for Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who hopes to lure Biden into negotiations on cutting spending. Now, McCarthy called on Biden to begin negotiations on a debt limit increase and spending cut bill and for the Senate to either approve the House bill or to pass its own, to which President Joe Biden said it is not negotiable. The nays are 215. The bill is passed. In a mostly partisan vote on Wednesday, the U.S. House of Representatives narrowly passed a bill to raise the nation's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling, defying President Joe Biden by attaching sweeping spending cuts for the next decade. We've done our job. The vote was a win for Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who hopes to lure Biden into negotiations on cutting spending. He's putting the American economy in jeopardy by his lack of action. However, the White House and congressional Democrats have been insisting on a debt limit increase with no strings attached. And if Congress fails to act, the U.S. Treasury Department could run out of ways to pay its bills in a matter of weeks. The bill proposed would increase Washington's borrowing authority by $1.5 trillion or until March 31st next year, whichever comes first, potentially setting up another debt showdown ahead of next election. It would also slash spending to 2022 levels, cap growth at 1% a year, repeal some tax incentives for renewable energy, and stiffen work requirements for some anti-poverty programs. McCarthy called on Biden to begin negotiations on a debt limit increase and spending cut bill, and for the Senate to either approve the House bill or pass its own. After the vote, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said Biden would not sign off on such cuts, adding, quote, the president has made clear this bill has no chance of becoming law. The president himself had some choice words when asking about extending the debt ceiling earlier in the day. That's not negotiable. A 2011 standoff over the debt limit led to a downgrade of the government's credit rating, which pushed borrowing costs higher and hammered investments. We've done our job. I've sat down with the president on February 1st. He ignored the rest of the time. He treats it just like the border. He wants to ignore it and thinks it goes away. That doesn't work in America. He's putting the American economy in jeopardy by his lack of action. Now he should sit down and negotiate. We passed this early. We are in April, way ahead of the debt limit. We are the only party to take fiscal action in a sound mind that would lift the debt limit so we wouldn't have economic damage. We've also put us back on a path to end the Washington wasteful spending and to grow our economy and make us stronger. They haven't figured out the debt limit yet. Thank you. Happy to meet with McCarthy, but not on whether or not the debt limit gets extended. That's not mm -hmm. negotiable. I notice they quote Reagan and they quote they quote Reagan all the time and they quote Trump, both of which said it says I'm paraphrasing, it would be an absolute crime to not extend the debt limit.